Hey, strange man, we back with the wine. It's like the grapefruit wine too, though. At this point, I'm at about 875 subscribers, about 125 away from a thousand or monetization, uh, whatever you guys choose to call it. I've been doing this for about four months. I highly appreciate it. I think it's dope as a bitch. I, I think that, um, I think we get enough feedback in order to put out different types of content, right? And I say that in the most humblest way, but I think that it's dope that we got this far this fast. I feel, I feel like the pool of potential is so deep that this is barely the surface. We're skimming the surface at this point, right? So let's do a story time. Let me tell you guys about how I got to prison. Um, I went to prison November the 30th. I went to jail November the 30th, 14 days after my birthday, which is November 16th. I turned 22. Two weeks later, I'm running amok. I go to prison. They give me eight years. I was in there for six years, two months. I was in there for six years, two months, and... 23 days or something like that like so yeah, that's that's a rewind that's the rewind noise yeah, yeah, yeah i don't know how to do it so listen let me give you a small backdraft i have a young brother corn super dope dude god bless his soul man i love him uh he got shot in the back of the head he got shot in the back of the head with a 40 from pretty close 12 feet something like that boom they catch him he does not die. He ups. Amlam's come. He goes through the hospital. He's in a coma for a little while. He winds up moving out to Vegas, having a family. He's doing his thing right now. Uh, salutes to that nigga, man. That's my kid. Like, I love him, like, for real. But when this happened, I'm in a space. I was already an alcoholic for, let's say, uh, a conservative 10 years prior to that. Now, when you, when, you, when you got these YouTube videos, bro, you got to keep in mind that everybody in my immediate circle that you come and you see sometimes participate in these reactions i see on a day-to-day -day basis they comment they like all the shits bro so so if i'm lying these the, it will be in the comments for sure like i'm pretty honest with, i try to keep it as thorough as possible because i don't want to one day be like oh yeah that nigga never been a you know what i'm saying so so i was working a job i was not i was working a job I was not there. He get into a, some other people get into a fight. He was there. He jumps in the fight. He's pretty good at, 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 at the sport, at that sport. While he's doing his numbers, another guy has a gun. I live in an extremely aggressive area. Bow! Bitch, take that. They shoot the nigga. He falls. Boom! They call me. I break left. Boom! I'm on my way. When I get there, he already in a coma. Well, he not in a coma, he in a hospital, though. But they got him, like, in a medically induced coma, like, buku tubes everywhere, ICU. I'm wounded. So I'm drinking for about... I'm already drinking for years at this point. But right now, I'm drinking for, like, let's say four, five days straight. No food, no shower, no nothing. I'm sitting on the curb in front of the house of the people who, um, shorty. Yeah? And in my mind, it's so corrupted that I feel like by any means, we're going to figure this out now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So there was a young lady who was standing pretty close to this spot where it happened at in my city, in the city that I lived in. And she felt like, hey, my young nigga, like, you guys, I got no haircut. You seen how I was looking at it in the last video? Like, I got no haircut. I ain't brushed now. Too far. I ain't take no shower out there. Nothing. Like, but they know, like, oh, T Fly, he out there. Hey, man. It's going to be alright. Look, daddy, that ain't going to be cool. I heard what happened. You finna, you know what I'm saying? She used to bring me food to the curb. I'm literally sitting on the curb like, she used to bring me food. Hey, man, just eat this shit. Yeah, for sure, I'm straight. Got my bottle. The face was because when I was drinking, it was not wine. So, <clears throat> fast forward. This is how I get to prison. So, how I get to prison takes more than just this because i went to prison for some bullshit but let's rewind so that you can get a better picture of what type of nigga i am or how i got 
So, oh, this is getting confusing. I'm about to stress myself out. Boom. That's rewind. Stick with me. Stick with me. That's the rewind sound. Prior to that, my younger brother, one step under him, JB, God bless him. Super dope dude, too. My killer, man. He's a, he's a that's my kid. kid. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. He was going to a school in my city that was really aggressive. I lived, we lived across the street from the school. Somehow I was already aggressive because I had been in jail, juvenile hall, seven times prior to that. Boot camp, three times prior to that. And this is all before I turned 18, right? So while I'm doing my thing in order to, to sustain a certain quality of lifestyle for those around me, my younger brother come home like, hey, this nigga, hey, who said what? We finna figure this out right now. So I walk up to the school extremely close. When I get there, it's him and another gang member arguing for no reason. My brother was afraid of the gang member, but the gang member who had who I had already had interactions with, who I'm quite familiar with, who I know in my soul use a sucker. And this is not to glorify me or nothing about it, it's just facts. It's just what happened. It's just what happened. But I know you's a suck the whole time. I know you's a full blood mark, like a peon, like a ye. Like, you feel me? Like, you're not really about. He didn't even know this was my little brother, bro. Like, so boom. When I get there, I see the kid. Boom. You's a sucker. Hey, man, you can whoop him easy. This is not even a test for you to pass. I ain't going to lie to you. My little brother do his stuff. Boom. In the midst of fighting. Boom. He catching him right on the chin area. Like, bop, put him down. In the midst of this, my little brother is so emotionally charged. And there's so many females. I was about to say bitches. But there's so many of them around. Did he decide to stab him with a pencil? Terrible decision. Worst decision of my life. So the kid stabs him with a pencil. My little brother stabs this kid with a pencil. Mind you, this kid's like 18, like 17, 18. I'm 19. At that point... I'm telling him, we out of here, we finna ski daddle to the house, right across the street, mind you, right across, we kids, I'm drunk, I'm, I was, I, I was a hoodlum, like, I was making bad decisions from an early age, bro, so, boom, we run to the house, fast forward, they come get him, he goes to jail, I'm going to court for him multiple times, on one of the times I go to jail, I get to the courthouse, on multiple times while he's in jail, I'm going to court, when I get to the courthouse with my mom, me and my mother, it's a small group of gang members already there. Let's say probably six of them. No bullshit. Probably five, six. I see them. I'm, I'm not really tripping. It's about seven in the morning. I had very little sleep. I've been, you know, I've been out there doing what I'm doing. My mom like, man, sit down. It's cool. Nigga, chill. When I'm sitting there, I see him steady looking. So I'm looking back. Bitch, what's going on? Nigga, on the hood, on the gang, like, for the hood, like, all the shits, they start immediately going into all the script that you see on the movies. You know, on the movies, they got gang members portrayed, and he read that whole script to me. Bitch, on the hood, we could just think of all the shit, and I'm like, bro, who is you? Like, what is you talking about? Like, bro, relax, relax, young killer, relax, it's okay, like, it's cool, I'm here for my own situation. So much talking, you know what I'm saying? But we can go in, we can go in the bathroom and scrabble, I will whoop you down, like. Swear to God, I will beat you. So when I tell him this, like two of his friends and his older brother, it's like, all right, let's go. So while we get up to go to the bathroom, the bailiff say, uh, anybody coming in for, let's say, uh, Abraham Lincoln, enter the courtroom. Abraham Lincoln is a, is, a, is my little brother. It's a name I made up right now. But they say his name. I'm like, all right, hold on, man. So when I go to go in, the bailiff put his hand on my chest like, hey, now nah, you can't come in. I'm like, bro, that's my little brother. Like, what do you mean? But dude... Three of the four gang members walk in. Wow. And then one of the kids, mom, and my mom. Immediately, I know, oh, he telling, he telling, telling. The nigga, the nigga in there finna tell a whole story. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in the name of Jesus. Man, I say, oh, this is, I'm steaming. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm steam. I'm little teapot short and I'm steaming. So when I get home, I go right out, boom. I'm drinking, I go to sleep, I wake up, I'm drinking, I go to sleep. Next morning, early morning, a.m., before 7-Eleven open, I'm up in Adam. I get down there, I see the victim, he takes 
a wide left. Boom. As soon as he hits the corner, he sees me. We're the exact same size. We're the exact same size. This is not a child. Like, north side, the kid's 17, 18. I'm 18, maybe 19. Like, at the time, I'm still a kid. No mustache, nothing. When I went to, when I, when I hit the prison yard, I weighed 127 pounds. When I hit the prison yard, I weighed 127 pounds. I didn't hit the prison yard until I had already been in until I had already been in jail at least like 11 months fighting the case. So that lets you know how malnutritional, how small I was. Like my frame, I just, I'm just a small dude. Like, you know what I'm talking about? So when he sees me, he breaks while I, I'm in hot pursuit. I decided to chase the kid down. I catch him, he runs in the store. We get in the store. The guy at the store lives ne is right next to my house. I had been there so many times, he immediately telling me like, Hey, take this outside. I yank out. Hey, bitch. It's my moment. You're gonna die. I don't know what I said. I was a kid. I, I wasn't really thinking. So anyway, I pull out a gun. They tell me to take it outside. I take him outside with me. I take him to an alley. I wanted to fight him. I said, I just wanted to fight the kid. Like, I made a terrible decision. Like, in all actuality, it was like a terrible decision. We get to the alley. I put the gun in between, like, the wheelbarrow and the tire of a car. Boom. Man, we finna squabble, nigga. You think you tough, nigga? All the shit you telling. He like, bro, I'm not about to fight you. You got this gun. You tripping. Like, all the shit. He, all the shit, bro. Nigga, you got to fight me. You don't got no other option. Like, you feel me? I'm, I'm mad. I ain't going to lie. I'm steaming, bro. Broccoli, before you put the cheese on it, I'm steaming. Like, so the kid like, man, nigga, what? Oh, my kids, bro. It's all right. I'm not about to go tell no nigga no. Hey, man. We finna walk to my house. You not going. To, we about to. So I walk in from the alley to my house. We get to my house. Somebody locked the front door. I had just came out. I don't understand why the door locked. Whole time I finna put the gun up and take him in the backyard and whoop the kid. I'm about to beat him. So my mom opened the door like, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? Bop, bop, bop. Jody in the walk. She starts attacking me. I'm like, nigga, who? I bell off. I leave. Last time I see the kid to this day. Well, I see him after that, but he's an active gamer right now. I swear to God. Word to my kids. He's an active gamer to this second. Like, thugging. So, um, I leave him on the porch. I'm gone, okay? Mom's had my older brother take him home. Two months later, police kicking my door. I go, they kick me for kidnapping. They say that me, my mom, and my older brother kidnapped this nigga, whatever. I understand it was me since they said it was my brother and my mom included. I had to take the charge because I made a terrible decision. We ain't going to act like I didn't, but like it was terrible, right? So I plead guilty. I take an eight-year joint suspension, three years probation, a fine, and all other type of shit to go with it. I get out. I get out. I was in a fight in that case for about 16 months. I get out. Now I'm like 19, about to be 20. I get off this shit when I'm 22. Mind you, I said I went to prison when I turned 22, like a week before, two weeks after I turned 20. I'm not gonna lie to you, I get out. A joint suspension means that they're gonna suspend your sentence to a prison unless you fuck up. Then they're gonna reinstate that prison. So basically I'm saying, hey man, I'm gonna do good. If I fuck up, I'll do the whole eight years is what I'm telling them. You know what I'm talking about? So boom, fast forward back to the situation. My other brother, a different brother, gets shot in the back of the head, boom, now I'm out there. Tuli on me. I'm talking Bob the Builder, hammer in the pocket. You hear me? So I'm sitting out there in my mind. I'm like, nigga, they done shot the nigga. Oh, my soul is so hurt. We don't got no daddy. My older brother already a working man. He's so, you know, somebody he taking care of the fan. He took care of all of us, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. But at this time, he come, he tell me, he say, hey, man, we're gonna do this as a family, man. Salute a nigga, man. It don't, it don't cost no money to salute a nigga to say, damn, my nigga, your shit hot, nigga. It don't cost no money, nigga. You niggas like, like y'all got to pay to give a nigga love.